Hey Bama Nation, Dixie Jean here with The Real Deal, Chris Beal, getting ready for Bad V12 coming March 28th at Commerce Casino. Chris, it's been a minute. It's been a minute. What have you been up to? Yeah, it's been a little minute, you know, just hanging out, training, getting healthy, um, just focused, getting ready to smash on this cat that I got to go against. I have no ill will towards him, but he's in my way of my ultimate goal, so you know, we're going to do what we came to do, what we always do when we step into the Bama cage, and that's win. Now, going into this fight, what do you know about your opponent? Um, I don't know too much about him. I know he's 3-1. and one. Not, that's, that's about it. Uh, so, it doesn't really matter if he was 7-0. and 0. Um, The same outcome is, is going to happen. I'm still going in there not to look past him, but to go through him. And I'm just, I'm ready for this. I'm hungry. I'm hungrier than I ever was, probably. Now, in this meantime, we haven't had you in our cage for over a year now. But in that time, you were on the Ultimate Fighter. You know, what do you feel you brought back from that experience that you're going to bring into the cage for this fight? Um, just fire, fire. Uh, it's nothing that I brought back. It's just some new things that I learned. You know, I learned losing sucks. That's the first time I've ever lost. So I'm going to do my best to never let it happen again. Um, but every time I step into a Bama cage, I win. I'm 5-0 and there. Hopefully on the 28th, I'll leave 6-0 and and just uh, keep going from there, you know. Uh, they say that I have too many uh, decisions, so yes. let's see if we can step it up and knock his ass out. Yeah, the, with us, your your fights have gone to decision, but doesn't mean that, you know, it, it hasn't gone your way. You've obviously done very well in our cage. And going into this, people see you as one of the higher guys, you know, but 135, it's definitely grown since you've been with us. You know, we have some Victor Henry, uh, Terry on Ware. Are these fighters that you would want to take on yourself? Uh, yeah, you guys have grown. You guys got some excellent fighters, and I mean this with no disrespect when I say it, but I'm the best 135 pounder to step into that cage, if not one of the best fighters ever to step into that cage. And if any of those guys have a problem with what I say, uh, well, we can handle it. You know, Brett put me on another card. If you guys want to get at me, get at me. Um, I know you guys got a belt online. I consider that my belt. So if I do come back, I'm coming to get my Now going into this, yes, we do have a belt for this fight at 135. The what can you tell the, the winner of that if you do take on a fight with one of the winners? Uh, I like both of those cats. I like them both. I think they're both excellent. Um, it's going to be a good fight to watch. And hopefully, if I do come back, I have the opportunity to get in the cage with those guys. Um, I'm, I consider myself pretty friendly with both of them. I see them around the circuit sometimes. Me and Money both went to tryouts together. I even see Flash there. So, you know, I think they, they deserve to fight for the belt. But at the end of the day, you know, I don't know if you guys have another 35 pounder that's 5 and 0 in that cage. Um, so I consider that my house, you know. And uh, you could be the champ. If you get, if you are the champ, whoever wins that fight, look forward to facing me, hopefully, and we'll take it from there. Now going into this, you, you've come from Ultimate Fighter. I'm sure there's plenty of people that know your name, and they're looking forward to seeing you back in the cage. Yeah, I'm, uh, it's just too... Size to every coin, I mean, there's a lot of people looking to see me get back to my winning ways, and there's some people that's looking to see me fail still. Um, I'm just focused on me, just going to do what I usually do, and that's when, you know. If it was one fight, then everybody's a critic. Um, but I'm cool, you know, I'm not worried about what all the naysayers have to say. I have a lot of support out there. I have a, a, a lot of new fans, so I'm just happy, and I hope I can put on a show for them. and get back to my winning ways. I don't want to be like I was before because I've learned so many new things. I'm new Chris Bill and I'm excited to just show show what I've learned and show how much I've grown and just whip some ass, get in the cage and just handle this. So you're not going to let this fight go to decision? Um, you never know what happens. I mean, either you get put down in the first or second or you get your ass whooped for a whole three, 15 minutes. Um, it doesn't matter to me as long as I get that victory. That's the ultimate goal. If I can stop you, I'm definitely going to try. I'm going to be looking for that knockout. I've been doing a lot with my hands. I hear he wants to showcase his Muay Thai. All right, let's see if your Muay Thai is as good as my boxing. Um, all I know is speed kills, and i got a lot of it, so let's get it. Obviously, you have had a lot of followers, especially now coming from the Ultimate Fighter. More people know your name. They know what you're about. Any shout-outs to sponsors that you have for this fight? Uh, yeah, I want to thank Global Tracking, uh, Tricosta, Royal Sports Management, my manager, Bryce. Um, team Knucklehead all day. Um, Devil R, thank you so much. You helped me so much. So, um, yeah, all those people and all my teammates who's helped me get, get to this point. And hopefully we can get a lot more added on by the time the fight comes. Well, we wish you help. 
you don't have to wish you luck. You've been doing putting the work in for the trading, so you don't need luck. So we wish you health and we wish you the best. Look forward to seeing you come away in March 27. March 27, sound good. All right, you see Chris, the wait, let me get this correct. You can see the real deal, Chris Bill, take on, oh my gosh. It doesn't even matter.